Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Sunday, December 6th. It's 3.43 p.m. And I want to read to you this whole letter from Dawn. And um, you may not, excuse me, get as much out of it as I am or have, whatever. But I'm praying it will encourage you as much as it has me. Okay, let's get started. The first one is small straws in a soft wind. Jasper, what are you doing? If you want to go potty, you go over there. We can't go out because it's raining. We have like 85% chance and it's clearly raining. Anyway, let me get on with this. I see how you're doing and you're not going to pee on my rug. You get over there and you pee on the pee pads. Oh, training a puppy. I'm going to tell you something. Having a baby is easier. Yeah, at least you can put diapers on them and train them in a potty. In their own little potty when they're old enough. Yeah, at least they do that. <laughs> He's so sweet. Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. Come here. Come here. Let's let people see you. Come here. Okay, will you just go play? Go over there on your own rug that he's already messed up and I've scrubbed a million times. Okay, that's exaggerating. That's a lie. Maybe 30 times. Anyway, here we go. Now listen carefully at the wording. Transition has taken longer than you thought it would. Transition. That's transformation. That's how I read it. In other words, the rapture going outside of time. That's the way I'm taking it. Has taken longer than you thought it would. And it still is not over. So you might read that a different way. Transitioning to what? Anyway, patience is required for this leg of your journey. Boy, howdy, that's the truth. But you must not lose hope and faith in me to give direction. You must not lose hope and faith in me to give direction and wisdom for the season. Take each moment as it comes and make the most of it. Okay. And she added Colossians 1, 9b through 11. That you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. That you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power, for all patience and long suffering with joy. I had to get my joy back, and I did. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, this one is dated December 4th. And see, today I said is the 6th. All right. Well, this, I might have, oh, I got this December 4th. I've been hanging on to it. You are not sure if you should say something or keep quiet and continue to pray. You do not want to mess things up. If you let me, I will show you. But the main thing for you to do is be at peace. I have said this to you before. You slipped up and started worrying. This is an important time and you 
want to do the right thing, but anxiousness should not be a part. I hope that helps some other people. Philippians 4, 6-7. This is the NASB. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And, and this was received by Bev Robinson. All right, now. This one also received or put up December 4th. Okay. Aren't you glad I am the God of the impossible? You have witnessed many supernatural acts in your lifetime, haven't you? Yes, I have. Impossible is realizing how I supernaturally transform a calloused heart of stone into a heart of flesh through salvation. There is nothing too difficult for me to accomplish. Become like a little child who persistently asks for things they want and easily possess a never-give-up attitude. Unwavering persistence offers untold new horizons. We're supposed to become like little children. You ask him for help with, with this uh, reading your Bible. Help understanding is this message from you. Help with, oh Lord, I have to go over to so-and-so's house and I don't want to get into an argument. Will you please help me? Whatever it is, okay? I even asked him to give me the strength to unscrew a screw one time. Tessa can testify. Well, she didn't see it. But anyway, <laughs> I told her about it. And I could not get this screw unscrewed. And I just finally said, Lord, I can't do this. And you're my husband and I need you to help me. I need supernatural strength from you. And I took that screwdriver and that item with the little screw and I just... And it unscrewed. Okay. Now... The verse he puts with that is Romans 15, 13 from the Voice Bible. I'm not familiar with that. I've probably read out of it before in here, but I don't know. I pray that God, the source of all hope, will infuse your lives with an abundance of joy and peace in the midst of your belief so that your expectation will overflow through the power of the Holy Spirit. And Kevin Robinson got that one. I thought it sounded like something the Lord would say, so I put it up. I read over it, and I've seen so many things in my life that I said, yeah, I'm going to share this. I mean, when that time I poured that boiling hot, it was nearly boiling hot oil down the front of me, and I it felt like warm, soothing oil. I mean, I made a mess, had to go change, but I didn't, I did not get burned, and I was just standing there like that didn't even burn me, and I just said, "Thank you, Lord." And I, you know, I was in church in a Baptist church at the time, which was a good one, but, you know, they don't teach everything exactly right. 
but we had such awesome praise and worship, and, and our pastor did preach well what he did preach. Anyway, moving on, the last one. I have seen your efforts to make the world a better place. Yes, my word says, quote, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, unquote. That's Old Testament law. And yet, my royal law, the higher law, is to love your neighbor. I see you doing just that, and I say to you, keep it up. When you care for others as much or more than yourself, you align yourself with heaven. Self-sacrifice is Christ-like. Isn't that nice? I, I just love that. And his, uh, or her, scripture, she put a scripture to it. John 15, 13 from the NIV. Not, not a version I, I threw mine in the trash, but you could look it up in your favorite version. John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. That sounds pretty much like the King James. Robin Robinson Bolin. And that's the end of that newsletter from Dawn. And I thought every one of those were good. <laughs> and I wanted to share them. So I will plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over all of us and our devices and our internet connections and may God protect us from the dangers they give us I keep forgetting to turn mine off you know I used to say don't forget to turn off your internet <laughs> yeah it's because I thought maybe it's what gave my dog cancer and I still don't know it could have been, but I don't know. But anyway, we should decrease our exposure as much as possible. It's from cell phones, too. All right, with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.